Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best T-Launcher video settings for T-Launcher 1.21.4. And as you can see right now, I've got uh, around 700 FPS and I'll show you how to achieve that. So let's get straight into this video. First of all, I strongly recommend you to install the Sodium mod for uh, Minecraft 1.21.4 or T-Launcher 1.21.4. Uh, you can find the download links in the description and it's pretty easy to install this, this mod. So just go to the search bar, type in percent app data percent, hit enter and this will open up the roaming folder for us. In here, go to the dot Minecraft, go to mods and now just take the fabric AP and sodium fabric mod and drop it in here. Now go back and go to the versions, open it up and double click on fabric installer a window will pop up and now you need to choose the latest release for me is 1.21.4 and then hit install and give it like a couple of minutes uh, not minutes but seconds and as you can see it's already installed so hit ok and just make sure that you can see fabric loader 1.21.4 just like me and now just move let's move to the minecraft Okay, so once you install Sodium, you need to open up a T-Launcher and get in the game. So just when you get to the T-Launcher, make sure that you select the Sodium version so you actually play uh, with Sodium. And now let's get to the settings. So hit Escape, go to the Options, Video Settings, and let's get straight into this. So the first step for us is to adjust the Render Distance and Simulation Distance. So uh, for me, uh, it would be the best uh, to use six and six chunks. And I believe it would be the best for you as well, because as you can see, it's not that bad and uh, it makes uh, your FPS much better. So if you want a good render distance and uh, a good performance, you need to use six simulation distance and uh, six, six render distance. And then uh, with brightness, uh, let's make sure it's bright it's better and now uh, yeah you should use full screen it's it's better for the fps i won't use it for this video but uh, when you play alone in the uh, in, in your home you should at your home you should uh, play with uh, full screen now uh, regarding vsync uh, it depends on you uh, I actually don't use it, but it may be good for you. So you need to just uh, try it out. It depends on you. And when it comes to the max frame rate, make sure it's unlimited. And now view bobbing. So if you if you turn off bobbing, just check. You, you can you see the arm? It's not shaking and it looks horrible. So when I apply, uh, when I turn it on, just look at the hand, it, it looks better. And it doesn't really impact uh, the performance, so make sure it's on. Uh, these two settings, just leave it like it is. And now let's move to the quality settings. So uh, when we get to the quality set settings, it uh, it's pretty logical that we, we, we should use fast uh, setting in the graphics. And clouds turn off, fast weather leaves, leaves fast as well and particles should be minimal it, it depends on you if you've got like a, a medium and pc you, you can you can use decreased but minimal is better smooth lighting uh, i would turn it on because uh, as you can see it doesn't really impact the performance now biome plant uh, let's use one block and yeah we can turn off the entity shadows because uh, the impact for on the performance is medium it means that it really it pretty impacts the performance so you should turn it off uh, vignette yeah you can turn it on and maybe levels make sure it's on uh, one sorry it, it's on one now when we apply the settings and we we take a look on the map uh, you can see that it looks pretty good still so let's continue so go to the window settings again and go to performance uh i would use free on the ch uh, chunk update threads but it depends on you you, you should uh, play with this setting yeah it really depends uh, on your cpu so just play with it yeah let's uh, let's try if we use 12 threads and uh, we've got like 900 s7 800 fps if we use not default but two threads we've got 
over 800 not 700 but 800 close to 900 so uh yeah uh i'll use free threads that's the best for me uh well when it regards to this uh make sure it's off okay and also you can use this setting and we should turn off these free yeah so turn off uh, fog occlusion entity killing and uh, animate only visible textures so apply the settings and when we get to the advanced again uh, the cpu render ahead limit uh, for me it's best uh, the free frames but you should play with it just just use different settings and play uh, with it and just try what's the best for you uh, when it comes to this uh, yeah you, you should turn it off and that's basically it when we yeah yeah we've got over 900 fps now so yeah this is the best uh, tail launcher video settings uh, and i know i'm using sodium now but uh, sodium is a great mod and especially if you've got like a low-end pc it's the best thing that you can have to have like much more fps and yeah uh, you should or you may use uh, vsync because it's better for uh, the performance because there won't be those lag spikes uh, I mean, I, I don't need 1200 FPS now. Yeah, uh, I don't need it. Yeah, and when and there are some leg spikes, uh, it, it's just worse. It makes it worse. So we just play with these settings and find out what, what, what uh, settings are the best for you. You just need to play with it a bit. Give it uh, like 10 minutes, play with it and see what's the best for your computer. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope I have helped you with uh, everything you wanted to know. And yeah, thank you so much and see you in the next one.